Okay, this is the supplementary February, March 2018 paper. It's the momentum question. And it talks about skateboarding cats, which is why I like it, because I'm very fond of cats. So, if we don't believe in skateboarding cats, I just want to show you that skateboarding cats exist. So, if you go to the internet, you can Google skateboarding cats. And here is a skateboarding cat called Digger. He lives in Australia. And I want to show you Digger jumping over something here. Watch this. <laughs> There we have a scenario very much like uh, what's in the question. I want you to just go back and have a quick look here. Watch as Digi jumps off the skateboard. Watch what happens to the skateboard as his weight leaves, as his mass leaves the skateboard. Did you see the skateboard go backwards? And then watch as he jumps on the skateboard on the other side. He pushes the skateboard. So this is what is actually happening in our question here as well. If we go back here, it says we've got two skateboards, A and B, which are initially addressed. So that's not exactly what's in the video, but what we want to think about is what's going to happen to the skateboard. When the cat jumps off skateboard A, this will move backwards. And when it jumps onto skateboard B, this will move forwards. Because remember, in momentum questions, we always have to consider the direction of the velocity because that is what is giving us our vector sign for the momentum. So, skateboard A and B initially at rest, which is helpful. Okay, my initial velocity is zero for both of these boards. And then the cats on skateboard A, they're in a straight line, one in front of the other in a short distance apart. The surface is flat frictionless and horizontal. This means that they want us to consider this an isolated system because there's no friction or other external forces that can interfere with this. And this means once we're in an isolated system, we can use the principle of conservation of linear momentum, which is the first part of the question. And you know, if they give you that principle, they're going to want you to do a sum with it normally. So principle of conservation of linear momentum is that the total linear momentum of a closed or isolated system remains constant or is conserved. So it says each skateboard has a mass of three and a half kilograms and the cat has got a mass of 2.6 kilograms. That's quite a light cat. My cat weighs more than that. Okay, so it jumps from skateboard A with a horizontal velocity of 3 meters per second and lands on skateboard B with the same velocity of 3 meters per second. So it says calculate the velocity of skateboard A just after the cat has jumped from it. So we've actually got two things going on here. In the beginning, we've got the cat on skateboard A and they are being separated. So we go from what is effectively in physics one object to being two objects, the cat which is going to the right and the skateboard which goes to the left. And then when the cat lands on this one, we have the cat moving right and we have the skateboard which is stationary and then this goes into one object. So in terms of physics, we have here is an explosion, okay, where we have one object that separates, and here is a collision where we have two objects which join together. So, in the first part of the question, we are only going to look at this explosion of the cat on the skateboard because it says to you, calculate the velocity of skateboard A just after the cat has jumped from it. And now, this is five marks, and usually in five marks, we're going to use our conservation law to do it. So the conservation law is written as the sum of the initial momentum is equal to the sum of the final momentum. So what have we got in this system? We've got initially the cat, the P of the cat initially, plus the P of the board A initially is going to be equal to the P of the cat finally, the momentum of the cat finally, plus the momentum of the board finally which we can split them all up into MVI and MVI 
which is equal to MVF plus MVF. And we want to know how much velocity the skateboard has got after the cat has jumped from it. And we are going to expect this if we say that the direction of motion of the cat, which we're going to say is to the right from the pictures. We're just going to base this on the pictures. There's nothing given in the question, but we're going to say to the right is positive, and that's the direction the cat is moving. So we're going to assume our answer should come out to a negative velocity because I'm pretty sure that that skateboard in the explosion should move backwards. So in the beginning, the mass of the cat is added to the mass of the board, but everything is stationary. So the initial momentum of the cat and the initial momentum of the board is zero. So you could also have written a single zero there if you wanted to. Then we want to look at the cat. Finally, the cat is got its little mass of 2.6 kilos. We said to the right is positive. It's moving at three meters per second in the positive direction, plus the mass of the board, which was three and a half. And we want to know its final velocity. So if we do this and we take one of these over, we will end up with negative three and a half VF. That's the VF for the board is going to be equal to 7,8. So then my VF is going to be negative 2,2285, which I'm going to round off to negative 2,23 meters per second. And now it didn't ask you the magnitude of the velocity. It asked you the velocity. So we need to put a direction on this. The negative sign is telling us that it is opposite to the motion of the cat, which we said was to the right. So my final velocity is going to be 2,23 meters per second to the left. I also would have accepted opposite to the motion of the cat. But yeah, if we just take the pictures, the cat is moving right, so the board is moving left. Now it says to you, immediately after the cat has landed. So this is this collision we're talking about. The cat and the skateboard move to the right at 1,28 meters per second. Calculate the magnitude of the impulse. Remember the impulse is the change in momentum. Calculate the magnitude of the impulse on skateboard B as a result of the cat's landing. So a change in momentum is going to be the final momentum minus the initial momentum okay and they don't ask you for the system they ask you only what is the impulse on skateboard b okay and it's not really on the system the two objects because this uh, the momentum is conserved they will have and by newton's third law they will actually have um, equal and opposite forces acting on them for the same time so in this question you can actually use either the change in velocity of the cat to calculate the change in momentum or the change in velocity of the skateboard to change to calculate the change in momentum but because they asked for the skateboard we're just going to look at what is the skateboard so the change in momentum for the skateboard we know the mass of the skateboard is three and a half and the final velocity is to the right which we said was positive is 1,28 from the question minus the mass of the skateboard was three and a half and its initial velocity was zero because remember in the question right at the beginning it says to you both of the boards are at rest. So the change in momentum works out to be 4,48 newton seconds or kg meters per second which is the alternative unit for this. And so that is the impulse, which is the change in momentum. You're also allowed to write this. You can say to yourself, well, the mass of the board doesn't change. It's three and a half. And then you can do the VF minus VI in brackets. Same, same. Set maths is the same. Or you can say, what is the change in momentum for the cat? And you can say, okay, the cat weighs 2,6 kilos. And Finally, it was attached to the board moving at 1,28 and initially from the question it was moving at 3 and if you do this you end up with the same value 4,48 but it is now negative 4,48 newton seconds but it said the magnitude and you also know uh, so which means you could ignore the sign and also you know that the due to Newton's third law the cat's change in 
um, momentum is the same as the board's change in momentum with the opposite side. So if you do the cat, the cat gives you a negative answer. If you do the board, the board gives you a positive answer, but the same value of 4.48 Newton seconds. And I hope you enjoyed the clip of Didger, the world's most remarkable skateboarding cat.